Chapter 2! The Mysterious Girl. Now, apparently, mysterious people become suspicious very quickly, so, you know, be very careful, girl. Wouldn't want you to become suspicious. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Um, Professor, what do you suppose we are? I was wondering that myself, Luke. <laughs> Professor Luke! Oh, God, it didn't take you long to find me, did it, Amy? Have you, like... Im embedded a tracking chip into my ear while I was asleep or something. Thank goodness! I wasn't sure if we would ever find you. I was worried you might have had it this time. Are you both alright? We are unhurt, thank goodness. But I'm afraid I can't speak for the girl. Oh dear, I hope she's okay. Yes, that was quite a fall. In any case, you certainly picked an interesting location to land in. Oh, do you know where we are? I do. We're on the edge of Lake Code. Or Siren Lake, as the local call, locals call it. Lake Code? Lake Cod? Lake Cod? <laughs> who knows? Probably, probably Lake Code. It is said to be home to malevolent spirits who draw in the living and feed on their despair. Is that so? Can't wait to see them. Well, it's all superstitious, of course. I believe it arose due to the unusually high number of airships that crashed into the lake. And we've just made another two! <laughs> the surrounding forest has also experienced more than its fair share of crash landings. I see. Hence the name Siren Lake. It does not sound like, like a great place for a young girl to be on her own. We should really start looking for her. Yes, let's waste no further time. We'll need a great deal of luck if we're to find her in a forest so large. Well, we'll never find her ever. Professor Sticky Floor. <laughs> really? Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, right. Well, uh, this is probably going to be like the start of an episode, so this is going to seem kind of weird, but I'm going to just like end this recording session here. This is probably not the end of the episode, so I'm not going to say goodbye or anything, but uh, I just kind of finished the chapter, so I'm going to jump cut to another day of another recording session. Whoa! Previously on Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy. Layton and Luke rescued the girl from the enemy airship, only to lose her again during their escape. Meeting up with Sycamore and Emmy in the woods by Siren Lake, Leighton and Luke search for the lost girl. Ooh. Okay, so that is the story. So, oh, lost girl! <laughs> uh, right, anyway. Hey guys, it's been us here playing some Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy, although you already know that because we're already halfway through an episode. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure why I... Are those... Are those nuts? <laughs> I, want, I want one of... Can I, can I take one of your nuts, please? I'm not sure what to think about that. So, hey, uh, we're probably going to need 10 coins. Oh, yeah, I did confirm that we have missed something in uh, the, the place. The uh, wintry place. But that's in the past, you know? I'm sure we'll be able to go back there later in the game. Do we need certain hint coins? Yes, we do. Uh, hint coins. For branch sticking out of the big log and one of the trees to the right. There we are. Alright, so we were now in a completely new area on some train tracks in a forest. Well, near some train tracks in a forest. Is down here? There is a thing! We got a forest dandelion. Awesome. And uh, I've been kind of putting off talking to him until I'm sure that we've like found everything in the area. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure that we've found, found everything in the area. <laughs> okay, I'm, 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 I'm just, I just want some nuts, you know. That's, I'm this is a this tree is an infinite supply of nuts. It's amazing. Three fall down every single time I tap it, regardless of uh, regardless of how many times I tap it. I could I could literally sit here all day and get uh, millions of nuts, but you know the ants are just gonna carry them off. So what's the point? Hey squirrel! Hey look, professor, it's a squirrel. Oh yeah, Luke's uh, Luke's super awesome ability to talk to animals is gonna totally come into play, isn't it? Oh how charming! You know, Luke, I wonder if the little creature might not have seen our young lady. This seems like the perfect opportunity for you to make use of your ability to talk to animals. <laughs> I will always associate the ability to talk to animals with wild arms. And I don't, like, because that's the, like, the first game that I ever played, the way you can actually do that. And it was kind of weird when you unlock that ability. Why don't you say hello? Of course, Professor! Leave it to me! Hello, squirrel friend. We're looking for a girl. She's a bit taller than me, I think, and wears a pink dress. Have you seen her? Chirp, 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 chirp. And of course, the squirrel's called Hazel, because why not? <laughs> really? You won't tell us until we solve this puzzle? 
This is where later backhands Luke. Luke! Get him to tell us! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Professor. This might take a little while. Okay, Hazel, I accept your challenge. Oh, go. Oh. Leighton's not allowed to help him either. This has to be Luke all on his own. Oh dear. Bull number 12, squirrel snacks. Uh, these four fruits all have different weights. The squirrels don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. The squirrels don't know the fruits individual weights, but they do know that their favourite fruits are the second and third heaviest ones. They also know that these two weight two fruits each weigh an even number of grams. If you put a piece of fruit into each of the two boxes, the counter will display their combined weights in grams. Can you use this rather odd set of scales to determine which two fruits are the squirrels' favourites? Uh, well, doing this, you can kind of work out which ones are the more heavy ones. So that's one of the more heavy ones. Uh, so those are definitely the two heavy, heaviest ones. Uh, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of like mathing, isn't it? So A plus B is 101. Uh, A plus C is 88. So B plus C is 97. to do here? Uh, well, can you use this rather than determine which two fruits are the squirrel's favourites and they are the second and third heaviest ones. So that's going to be D and A. Oh, I have them there, there already. I've really thought about this one. Victory! <laughs> so don't take long at all. Luke, Luke you, you have no faith in your puzzle solving skills. You have zero faith whatsoever. I, know, I, I always knew you Luke could do it. You know, he's, he's training to be a world-class gentleman. Of course he can solve a simple puzzle like that. Cheer up! Yes, go on! Chirp, 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 chirp! Obviously. <sighs> they're, just, they're just, like, talking about Leighton behind his back, aren't they? Got it! Professor! Hazel says she saw a girl making her way towards the town! Which is this way! It's, I like I like how Leighton just kind of encourages Luke in his um, clearly made up fantasy ability. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I interpret it anyway. Chirp, chirp, chirp. What's this? Is it a present for us? Chirp, 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 chirp. I'm guessing you want to come with. Are you, is he gonna be our animal companion? Because all the late games gotta have an animal companion. Um, at the end of each game, they all die because they never appear in the next games. That's a kind of sad thought when you think about it, really. Wow, so is this, this is a really popular game among squirrels, right? Sounds great. Mini game! Oh, not roll a mini game. And we're probably going to be having to solve that in order to uh, get him as a hint coin dude. <laughs> that sense has made sense. Not roll a mini game. Have a go at the nurse, let's see in the trunk. Make clever use of acorns and pebbles. Uh, it's Sounds basically like a like a two D puzzle thingy. It sounds like a puzzle, and in a later game that never happens. Chirrup, chirrup. Should have a look at see. Well, that's the only dot on this entire square of map. <laughs> that's just kind of funny. There's probably gonna be a lot of those in this game because obviously the game goes kind of uh, all over the place. Nut roller, and we've even got the first cause of it. Uh, the aim of this game is to roll the walnut so that it comes to a stop inside the gold tents. There are all sorts of perils awaiting the wallet on the way, including cold water, acorns, and rocks. Uh, position the squirrel next to nuts and face the wallet to pick up on the touchscreen to pick it up. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wallet can be rolled onto the course from the edge of the ledge, provided there's no railing in the way. Uh, blah blah blah, acorns and rocks, okay. Okay. Take a good look around the course, as there may be holes. 
You may be able to form a makeshift bridge by dropping into rock or a hole. Okay, this... I, I, I kind of just want to start, please. <laughs> Don't tell me everything that I could possibly encounter. <laughs> if the camera's giving you a hard time, touch the square icon to change perspective. Right. Understood! So we've got the first course for this, Floating Island. And we have many, many, uh, things. So what? It, what is that, like... I need to change, I need to change perspective, I think. Ah, oh, that's a hole. I was wondering what that was. It looked like it had some kind of, like, mud hole or something. And that's exactly what it was. Uh, how will I do this? I could, like, fill that hole. And then... Uh... Oh, no, wait, wait, I know, I, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. It's super simple. I just need to pick this up. And... Wait, how do I get this something to stop? Oh, right, that's why I need both of the holders. <laughs> I forgot about the hole. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. Damn it. Uh... Okay, I know where I messed up, I know where I messed up, I know where I messed up. Uh, we first need to put it this way to fill in the hole. Yeah, I'd have got that, but I totally forgot that there was not even a hole there. Yeah, I think I prefer the top-down perspective, because that's just a little bit um, harder to use. <laughs> there we go. And you knock things out of the way. You can leave floating island! And squirrels have me a little dance. Cool. So we're getting more of those as the game progresses. <sighs> Hurrah. Alright, well, let's uh, head off then, I guess. We're done. We've done with everything in the Lake Lake Forest. Where are we off to now? Oh my god, this place is destroyed. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> it looked destroyed for a moment. Wait, is it destroyed? Behold the town of Cod. The landscape is beautiful but its reputation for accidents renders it unpopular as a tourist destination. Ah, it's the town of Call of Duty. It is my opinion that an extraordinary secret is hidden in this humble bird. I guess it's not destroyed, I just kind of looked it from... <laughs> I don't know, it starts off with a shot of like the, the trash heap of the town, and then pammed actually to the town. <laughs> and what might that be? Uh, you're an archaeologist, Professor, and you have no doubt heard of the Azran civilization. Azran, Azran, I've rings a bell. Uh, I don't know, uh, it's, been, it's been such a long time. Of course, an ancient race who thrived long before the dawn of modern man. That is correct. The girl offers indisputable proof of their existence. And an analysis of the fossil ice she was held in should give us an idea of when the Azran lived. Oh good, so you don't actually need the girl, you can just go back and get some ice, yeah? So in other words, this girl is the key to unlocking the secrets of the Azran civilization. No, the ice is the key to unlocking the secrets of the Azran civilization. That's what he said. That's what he said. I was listening. I was listening. I was listening very carefully. Indeed. I don't think we ended up here by accident. I believe the girl led us here somehow. <laughs> Through the power of electromagnetic pulse. Hmm? If my theory is correct, there may be some manner of Azran relic in this town. Ew. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've found like a few Azran relics before. But it okay. may even be the source of some kind of magnetic field that causes passing aircraft to malfunction. Bermuda Triangle. That really would be an extraordinary secret. So assuming you're correct, this girl is most likely trying to find this relic left by her people. I believe so, yes. All this is mere speculation at the moment, though. To find the truth, we must find the girl. Okay. I'm sure she's looking for something very, very important. And it's not just going to top turn out to be like her old toy doll or something. Thanks to countless number of aircraft crashes that have taken place there. The area around Call of Duty has acquired the name Siren Lake. Could the reason for these disasters have something to do with the lake? Sycamore believes the area produces some kind of magnetic field. Possibly. I don't know. If they had the power of super magnets. Yeah, see, it started on that. <laughs> I thought that was kind of destroyed. It's like a, a shed that's half built up. 
and like then it panned into that and you can kind of see this structure over here that looks kind of burnt out I don't know Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not going to even justify what I thought. So what is this? Hint coin! We need to find hint coins. Uh, there are four hint coins hidden in this area, and I shall tap through them all now. <laughs> I think uh, like this guide is this guide's pretty good. Uh, like I say, the only real issue with this guide that I have is that uh, it does have the solutions puzzles, so I'm avoiding reading those at all costs. Hi there, dragonfly. <laughs> I actually just tapped that without even reading it in the, uh, in the thing. Uh, so apparently there's another thing over here. Boat wreckage! Wow, lots of mystery items around. Yeah, we've missed two mystery items and a puzzle. But, you know, we can easily get the puzzle later. Mystery items, I hope we can get. If not, looks like I'm replaying this entire game. <laughs> I am sincerely sorry for anybody that either read the instructions or has played the game for themselves. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs>